everybody, Ken Pierce here. I wanted to shoot a quick video. Uh, I just saw this morning on the Golf Channel a trainer that was demonstrating something for Fitness Friday, and he was using uh, one, one of, uh, one of uh, these are power bands, but he was using one cord to do some demonstration of uh, an exercise or a warm up uh, that he was saying to use throughout your bag or to about three or four clubs in your bag to get warmed up before you actually play. So that way you're using muscles or the swing techniques that you would use with every single club. So you start with a short club and what have you. I wanted to demonstrate to you using our Power Swing Plus that if you're going to go to the range or if you're going to, well, of course you're going to be at the range because you're going to be hitting a lot of balls and changing clubs, but to warm up best at the range, you, this is so much more portable. It's hard to hook up a band like this anywhere in the ground or at a, on a cart or whatever. So this is an incredible little tool to be able to use at the range to where you I'm starting with a pitching iron. So I've got a pitching iron here. And what was basically being showed this morning was your pitching iron is going to be a little bit of a, a less swing maybe than your full swing. Anyway, so you could use this to warm up with your pitching iron and just to get you're using resistance and getting in the proper position as you strike the ball. So this is a great little tool to warm up with your pitching iron. And then the idea was to put the pitching iron back. You're sort of faking it here to where you were using the bands to say, all right, put your pitching iron back. <coughs> Excuse me. Now bring out a longer club. And so um, if you notice right over here, I'm demonstrating using it with a, a little bit longer club and then you switch it out and you put it on maybe a you start so put it on maybe a, a five iron and then you go to a longer club because your posture is going to change a little bit so that way you're warming up in each posture position and then eventually you go to the driver and um, let me show you that right now okay I've got the power swing plus hooked on my driver now and the one of the keys is, and you know what? I always do this with a glove on, but I forgot to put it on, so I'll keep going. It's really great if you're doing this with your glove on as well, because you'll get the whole feel. Well, I've got the power swing plus under my left foot if you're a right-handed player, right foot if you're a right-handed player. And what I want to show you in the using the driver is to you're gonna be a little bit up, up, upright a little bit more and you're going to be the ball is going to be farther away from you so what, what I like to do with the driver on warming up is to just do this one piece takeaway and you're bringing it to where your hands are just about just about parallel with the ground so you take that back and you feel that and then also you want to monitor when you're doing this monitor where you are and there's no swaying I noticed in the drill this morning when he was taking it back, he was really kind of swaying over to the right side. Don't sway to get to your right side. It's a matter of weight shift versus sway, okay? So as you take this back, all the way back, and then get yourself loaded up, and then I like to just come as, as far about here, a little bit past, past impact, okay? So you just bring it here, come down nice slow, strike, impact, and then a little bit of follow through. And then as you go, just build up longer and longer as you take it away and go through it farther and then one thing I really like to do and I'm looking down here at a mirror I recommend you do these drills if you can somehow in front of a mirror so that you can see what you're doing I'll tell you a quick story at the end here and what I like to do here is take this here and then get that right shoulder down as far as possible and raise this up to feel the extension, extension, extension that you can get here, but make sure to keep this down. You're not doing it here. Keep that left shoulder down, obviously for right-handed players. And as you come through, come through all the way and all the way up here, and as you continue to come through in your follow-through, then I like to raise this, raise it, raise it, raise it up. And all that's doing is making your body feel that full extension as you follow through. So, great little drill to do as a warm up. Start with the short clubs, put it back in your bag, go to the longer, longer, longer. You can hear my breath is a little bit up because this is a great, great, great warm up for you. So, it's our Power Swing Plus. And as you work through the, through the routines, and there's a bunch of videos on our website about how best to use the Power Swing Plus. Here's the website, just click on there to go to it to, if you want to get yourself one. And also, 
We love do doing these videos for you. I think you love them too, because <laughs> we got a lot of people subscribing. So just click right up here at this button and subscribe to our website. We really appreciate it because we think if you play better, you're going to enjoy the game more. And when you enjoy the game more, you're just going to play better. And it's a yin yang kind of thing. So check out our other videos. Subscribe to our website. Check out GolfTube.com for more of our products and more about the Power Swing Plus. This is a great tool to take to the range to warm up with and practice. All right. I hope that was good for you because it was good for me. <laughs> See you on the next video.